Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, will front-end development be more and more like plug-and-play similar to WordPress in the future? Uh, no, I don't think that that's ever going to happen. Uh, the reason is because branding. Branding is always going to be a, be a problem and it's always going to be there and there's no reason for you to fight it. You can, you can emotionally, basically, I would say, let go of ever. I mean, the front-end engineers and the designers, they're happy as fuck over this because that means that they're going to have a job. But uh, the people who actually just want to work on the back end or just want to get the UI up and running, you can forget about it at least at a large scale it's never going to get to be it's not never going to be the norm and the reason why i claim that it's never going to be the norm is for the exact same reason that no one store is identical to another store no one corporate website is identical to another one unless that corporation truly wants to just look like another corporation of its type the norm is that every single company every single business every single like little entrepreneur everyone wants an identity a brand literally everybody at least the ones who can afford it the people who use wordpress sites do you think that they're using it just because no they're using it because they can't afford something better or because it need, fills their their purposes but wordpress is a it's fundamentally just as every single low code platform or off the shelf solution or template it is a compromise that is what it is. I mean, of course, everything that you make is going to be a compromise to a certain point. But you, you, when you can afford it, that's why you hire f like professionals to build the thing for you, so you don't have to compromise as much. You just you, you want to invest in your brand, and the brand is very very valuable to the vast majority of companies. And that's why if you will never get to a plug and play system as a front end engineer unless you literally build a UI framework yourself if you I mean that's the thing that you can do if you want to get the closest to this it would be a, in a large scale system or like a fairly serious application build your own UI language within the company that uh, this is super super hard because it basically means that you have to get designers to decide that oh we're just gonna use these things here like Lego blocks and they never want to do this like they want to do it sometimes but they want to have their cake and eat it at the same time because for some reason, which is completely beyond me, I, I just chalk it down to a, a mystery of the universe. You can't get them to understand that what takes like literally two minutes for them to draw take, can take hours or days for the developers to build. And some designers are mature enough to understand that it's not feasible to do certain things because it just is too much of an investment and practically all of them want will defend their designs and so forth and try to motivate and try to get motivations as to why they have to compromise because compromise is just not something that a designer wants and that make I mean it's not their fault I mean if you think about it I compromise is usually not the best way to make a good experience or make a uh, very beautiful piece of art but fundamentally you are always limited by time restrictions and the complexity of the thing that you want to make and that's the endless endless struggle between design front and engineers or like any person who's doing any type of UI work it is uh, it it's never gonna end so I will say that by making a UI language, if you can manage it, you will get sorted out to a plug and play system, but you still have to build like these custom components. And I don't think we will ever, ever get to a point, apart from, as I said, for smaller companies or companies who can't really afford their own staff to deal with this, where the norm will be that we are all using the same thing. We are all using the same visual components. Everybody's just never, they're never doing their own thing because basically what would happen if that was the case, then literally every website you went to would practically look the same. And that's just not, it's not gonna happen. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to have a plug and play type of system for front end, you basically only have to, you have to work with systems where nobody really has either the money or the interest to have a customized 
brand of some sort. And in some cases you might get away with making a, a vanilla bootstrap foundation or Tailwind CSS or whatever experience or material UI. You can absolutely get away from it, but I will argue to you that the norm, and even if it's possible to do it on day one, is practically always that once the company can afford a custom brand, they will buy it every single time because everybody wants an identity, everybody wants to stand out and that is both the best thing for everybody and it's the absolute worst thing at the same time and I don't think it's ever gonna get uh, go away. Everybody wants to be different and that's why we're never ever gonna get to a point where you can just standardize the UI development experience or the UI development process. Have a great day!